First of all, before I start roasting John, I would like to uh, thank and congratulate the Kirks and Meanies for putting together a wonderful weekend. Thank you very much. It was, uh, it was, it was nearly perfect. The only thing missing, I know John was disappointed by this, was his boy band, Belle de Bo. I thought for sure they would have been available. Now, actually, I've been uh, I've been keeping a running scorecard on uh, John's performance today, and I'd like to share with you my notes. I divided this into four categories. The first being punctuality. The second, fashion. The third, vow delivery. And the fourth, but not least, protocol. <laughs> Punctuality, this was John as a layup. Uh, you may have been late for all the other weddings, but <laughs> there was no way over Tom's dead body were you going to be late for this one. <laughs> so I'm going to give you an A on that. Number two, fashion, your hair looked great. <laughs> And there was no sign of chewing tobacco. <laughs> the, uh, there was one minor overlook, and that was that the groomsmen all had different colored shirts. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to give you a B minus on that. <laughs> Moving on. The vow delivery. You are a man of few words. <laughs> I do with two of your clients. <laughs> Shockingly, you were a rock. Uh, if only you had that discipline in college. <laughs> you would have saved your parents a lot of money. <laughs> I hope that sixth and seventh year was excessive. <laughs> we'll give you a B plus now. And uh, the last one, protocol, and by this I mean how you treat your best man. <laughs> Especially after the speech. So I'm going to give you an incomplete on that one. <laughs> uh, congratulations, John, on marrying the girl of your dreams. I think we all knew from day one that Jess was the one. That one. <laughs> um, the real question was, how long was it going to take you to propose? <laughs> we all placed bets but on the date, but you took so long we forgot what they were. <laughs> uh, this actually comes as no surprise to anyone who knows John, uh, anybody who's played sports with him or held a tel telephone conversation with him. <laughs> knows that he moves at his own pace. <laughs> Slow. <laughs> and this was a big decision. There was a lot of plans and calculations. Those nine years up in Middlebury studying sociology. <laughs> the study of the blatantly obvious. <laughs> Obviously didn't help with this blatantly obvious decision. <laughs> so that led me to believe that you had some help. You had some sort of device, some sort of vehicle in which to see the future. To not only locate your dream girl, but to know how and when to propose. I just happen to have that device here today. <laughs> On 
loan from the Brockton Museum of Science. John's very own second. Thank <laughs> you. 